guys, Do It On A Dime here. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys five quick budget organizing tips for around your home. I know a lot of you guys come to my channel for organizing tips, and it's been a while since I've done one of these videos. In fact, the last video that I did like this was from January about kind of getting organized for the new year. And I'm going to put a link to that in the description because they're my top seven favorite tips for organizing. In this video, I'm going to try to show you some of the things that I've done around my home that have really, really helped me. And in turn, hopefully they will spark some inspiration in you so you can start to get organized. None of these tips are brand new. None of these tips are things that you're going to go, wow, I can't believe she thought of that and no one else has. Trust me, a lot of other people have done this stuff. These are just particular things that I pulled that I find in my house. I'm so glad that I've done. So without further ado, here are my five budget organizing tips. Tip number one is to have a command center in your house. And by command center, I mean somewhere where you can store all of those important paperwork, things that you're doing for dinner, um, papers that you need to access, writing utensils that are really easy to grab. And if you go online, there's tons of beautiful and quite expensive inspiration of command centers. Some of them are on walls with pegboards, some of them are on the side of the fridge. I made one in my home that is super, super budget friendly, and I feel like there's three keys to it. The first key is a magnetic chalkboard. I bought this chalkboard from Blick.com. No, I'm not being sponsored by them. And all it is, is it's a giant magnet. And I spray painted it with chalkboard paint and I stuck it up on the side of the fridge. And I use it for our meal planning. It's super easy, I get tons of compliments on it, and it keeps us really organized for what we're going to eat during the week. The other key to this organizing system, and I get a lot of questions about it, is my file folder and holder that go on the fridge. And in this, I keep coupons, I keep menus, I keep recipes. If you had kids, you could keep school paperwork or lunch menus. And I have a little container from Staples that's clear that is just magnetic on the fridge where I can stick it in. So all of that paperwork is super easy to access. I will put a link in the description. I absolutely love it and it was done on a budget. And my last and final favorite key to my fridge organization center is my pen holder. All this is is a little bucket from Michaels. It was $1 and I took one of those magnet clips and I stuck it on the side of the fridge and I use it to hold the chalk and a pencil to write things on my list, which conveniently enough came from the Dollar Tree. So that is how I stay organized, everything we could possibly need all in one spot. The second tip that I have for you if you're a budget organizer is go thrifting. And a bunch of you guys leave me comments on my videos and say, but Catherine, my Goodwill sucks. Or I try to go to garage sales and I never find anything good. If you want to find good stuff thrifting, this is what I always say. If you want to save a dime, you got to put in the time. I do not walk into Goodwill every day and leave with something awesome. Sometimes I'll have a crazy awesome day and I'll find a bunch. But typically it takes me a while. It's hard. But if you put in the time, you can find amazing organizing stuff at the Goodwill. Something that I found recently were little bins from Target that I now use to organize my junk drawer. They're just made of felt. I absolutely love them. I have also found thrifting, this was actually at a garage sale, bins that I keep underneath my sink in my powder room, and I use them to store bathroom supplies. They really easily pull out. I paid 99 cents for them. And most recently at a garage sale, I actually found a giant tote for the garage to keep my son's toys in. I got two of them and I only paid $5 a piece for the bins. Because I guess people tend to buy organizing stuff and then they don't end up using it or something. But seriously, that is the best place to find organizing things on a budget. So when you're in your subdivision and you see a little garage sale sign, go check it out because you might find a treasure. My third tip that I have for you guys is to see your organizing space as a puzzle. In other words, take all of the stuff that you have, lay it out on the floor, and think, how can I best utilize this space and get this to fit together in an organized way? And the last time that I did this was in my son's room, I organized his sock drawer and hat drawer. 
And I just took bins. Yes, of course, I got them from the Dollar Tree. I have a green bin that I got from the Dollar Tree, and I have some little plastic bins that you kind of fold up for a dollar each, and I used it to divide up the space and then create different designated areas for the things that I needed to organize. And it almost fits together like an interlocking puzzle. So it makes things really easy to find, and the challenge of putting it together is really fun for me. And if you find that your brain doesn't work like that, go on Pinterest or go on a page of that's of really organized spaces and just get yourself inspired. Look at the space and go, okay, how can I implement that in my house? That's what I tend to do because it inspires me to see organization and then I can start thinking outside the box for my own spaces because every space is unique and it needs its own unique system of organization. The fourth tip that I have for you guys is to get creative. What else could you use for an organizer? I actually made an entire video of random household odds and ends that I use around my house to stay organized, and I'll put a link to that in the description as well as on the screen. But recently, the most recent thing I did was I took my son's pacifier case, you know, these like little things that they come in, and I broke it in half, and I used the bottom to store my bobby pins. And it makes the space look really, really beautiful. When I open up that little drawer, I can find my bobby pins easily. They don't go anywhere, and it costs me nothing. So think about the things around your house that you could use to get organized. I'm not saying go out and buy a pacifier case, but maybe that will inspire you to think of other things that you could use. Also, even shopping at the Dollar Tree, you can find great organizers that really aren't meant for what you're going to use them for. In my bathroom, I use these little desk organizer things that I got from Dollar Tree for a dollar each, and they make the space look absolutely beautiful. I also found organizers from Target for just a dollar that are chevron and totally trendy, and they also make the space stay super organized. So think about what you can use that you already have. The final and fifth tip I have for you is to search for uniformity and find things that can be considered beautiful in your home. And that can be as simple as paper towels. Paper towels all lined up to me, I don't know if I'm weird, but it's really beautiful because it's super clean, it's white, it's bright, and it's so orderly. Even something as simple as clothespins in a jar can look really beautiful in a space, especially when they're contained. So think about things that you can take out of drawers and put on display in an orderly fashion. So it's almost like adding decor to your home, but at the same time helping you get organized. There's tons of things that when you take out of bins and baskets and closets and put on display, they just look really, really beautiful. So those are my five tips for getting organized. I hope that you guys like them. My subscribers are amazing. You guys always have the best tips. So please leave your tips in the comments below if you have have any ideas for how to get organized, stay organized, especially budget organizing. And if you see a comment down below that you like, please thumbs it up so people can see it and we can all learn from one another. So I hope that you guys like this video. If you have any requests, I would love to hear them on my Facebook page or in the comments. And please, please, if you organize a space, share it with me. I love it when my subscribers send me spaces that they've organized. You can either tweet me a picture or post it on my Facebook. I would absolutely love to see it. So I hope you guys are having a fabulous and beautiful day, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.